Hi everyone, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video I wanted to show you how to set up the uh, Starshoot P1 Polar Alignment Camera. You're going to get uh, a box, obviously, with your uh, P1 in it, but it's going to come with the camera, uh, an adapter for your specific mount, and then a couple of little accessories. So let's go through step by step and show you how it fits onto the mount. Um, we have adapters available for the Skyview Pro, the Sirius, the Sirius Pro, the Atlas, the Atlas Pro, and the HDX. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you on the Sirius mount um, how it attaches. It's pretty much the same with all of the other equatorial mounts, except for the Sirius Pro and the HDX, which instead of a circular hole in the side, it just bolts onto two little uh, screws on the side. That one's a very simple installation. So um, I'm going to show you on the Sirius here. So the first step is the mount adapter. Um, this is going to come separately in the box, and it's actually two pieces. If you unscrew the little set screw here, you can pop it off, and you've got uh, two sections. The mount adapter, this is the part that attaches to the mount itself, and then the camera adapter. This is going to bolt onto the back of your camera. Um, let's see, I'm going to show you the camera adapter first, so let's go to this one next. So the camera adapter has three holes in it, and they line up with the three holes on the back of the uh, polar alignment camera. Now this ring is the same in all of the adapters, so once you bolt this on with the included three uh, little Phillip uh, screws, you can just leave it on. And let's say you have a Skyview Pro mount and an Atlas mount. You can leave this part of the adapter on and go back and forth between both uh, uh, base adapters on the mount itself. So this is a one-time setup here. So rather simply, you're just going to take a small Phillips screwdriver like I've got here, and each screw goes in, lines up, and just tighten it down, making sure the little flange the little flange for the base adapter is on the outside. Do it with two more screws and you're done. And just finger tight, well, small screwdriver tight, just snug is fine. You don't have to crank it down. But you also don't want it wobbling, so that's nice and solid there. The next step is the mount section of the adapter. This has to go onto the mount itself. And again, this is the one for the Sirius, so this is sized to fit into the hole here. If you look on the inside flange, there's two small set screws that you get access to with the included Allen wrench from the inside here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure this thing actually fits uh, into your hole. And right now it's not because one of my little set screws is sticking out slightly. So I'm going to loosen that set screw from here so it doesn't extend out below the flange. That way it's going to slip into the mount easily. There we go, that should be enough. There, see, so now it, now it fits in. There's a little bit of wiggle room. That's fine. The, uh, the software can figure out if this thing is not exactly flush with the mount. But just butt it in there solidly. And then you're going to take your uh, Allen wrench from the outside and find those two screws. They're at a 90 degree angle. There's one on the bottom here, and there's one on the side here. This thing can go in any orientation. Just figure out which way you want to have the set screw when you bolt your camera on. I like to have it sort of at an angle up to the right. Um, and then I'm going to take my uh, Allen wrench and then from the inside, twist it to the left, right? That's uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Uh, but we're on the inside, so I'm pivoting it uh, clockwise to tighten it down against the mount. And this might take a couple of extra turns to find the head of the screw and you only have a limited amount of travel when you're tightening. So just be patient with it. There we go. I can feel it getting snug now. There. So now it's holding there, but there's a second one. So just for safety's sake, find that screw and rotate it down. Whoops, it's on this side. There we go. That's getting snug. And now it's bolted on there, it's not going anywhere, and it's pretty much flush against the mount. Remember, you don't have to be exactly flush, so if you have a, if, if you stuck it on there and it's sticking up a little bit, the software can figure it out, but um, just for ease of use, just push it down against the mount and tighten it down, and that's all you need to do. Next, your camera with the um, camera flange section of the adapter already bolted on is going to attach on to the mount section of the adapter. Just loosen the set screw here. There's two little tiny set screws on the side that are sort of preset to kind of help hold it there. It just fits in there and then screws down from the side 
and that's all you got to do. You do have to remember, however, that the, take it back out again, the USB port uh, in the directions it mentions this should be facing to the left when you're looking at the mount face on this way. So I orient the uh, USB port this direction and uh, when it's in its home position it just faces left, tighten it down and you're good to go. So the P1 comes with a thread on cap attached to it and it's got a little threaded hole in the front and uh, occasionally somebody will say, well, what's that little hole for? Well, also in the uh, box is a little thread on lanyard. This will prevent you from losing the cap when you're using it. So just take the little uh, threaded end, thread it into that small little hole in the cap. Finger tight is all you need to do. And now your lanyard can be attached to some other part. I just, I just hook it onto the little... Um, thumb screw there. So unthread your cap and it'll just dangle out of the way there. And the last part of the hardware installation is the USB uh, uh, cable that attaches to the USB port and since it's not facing the camera I'm just going to take this off again. It's a it's got a thread on security system so it won't pop out on you when you're using it. So just simply attach the USB cable into it and then thread down the two little uh, thumb screws on the side and you've got a very secure USB connection to your camera. So you know it's not coming out and you can attach it back on. The other end goes to your laptop and you're ready to go. For attaching to an HDX mount just loosen the two screws that are uh, designed for the polar scope. and install the bracket with the screws use an allen wrench to make sure they're snug and that's all there is to it the Sirius Pro uh, works the same way using the screws designed for the polar scope so that's all that's really involved in the hardware installation. Uh, the next step is the software installation. Um, the software is a download available on our website. It's listed in the manual, the link of how to get it. Uh, there are two uh, files to download, the driver for the camera and the uh, application itself. So install both of those, go through the manual. There's a, uh, help, menu, uh, a help menu in the software that includes the full instruction manual. Um, and you can also download the manual on our website. And then after that, it's just a step-by-step -step, uh, system to get Polaris in the field of view, to get it polar lined. You might think that's the difficult part, but, but trust me, you've already done the difficult part. The, the hardware installation was, was the hardest part. The software uh, getting Polaris in the field of view is super quick and easy. It involves finding Polaris in the field of view. Remember, it's already uh, focused and you've got an 11 by 8 degree field of view, so it's a very wide field. So just get Polaris pretty much in the middle of the field of view. You click on Polaris, it asks you to rotate the mount 30 degrees and then 30 degrees again as it watches the uh, star field rotate around so it identifies where the center of the axis of rotation is. And then it'll put a little overlay there and tell you exactly where to put Polaris in the field of view. And you use your latitude and, well that's the azimuth and the latitude adjustments on your mount to get Polaris right in that spot that is identified and your polar lines, just as quick and easy as that. All right, well, there you have it. This is the uh, uh, setup uh, and installation for the Starshoot P1 uh, polar alignment camera. Thank you very much. Clear skies.